Well, 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 welcome back, people. Welcome back. This is Sharon, but you knew that already. <laughs> and my co-host? The one and only Jamal. Yeah. Now, you see our little disclaimer up there on that screen? You see that, right? Yeah, you see it. So, we're going to leave it up there for a few seconds and give you time to look over it and get yourself familiarized with it. Did I say that right? Familiarized? I well, guess. anyway. Uh, read over that, and we'll be back with you. Well, now you can see who's on our screen, right? Oh, Chameleon. Chameleon Kamala. <laughs> Chameleon there, Scamala, Scamala. <laughs> she, she, she's anything you want to be. One day she's black, then she's Spanish, then she's Indian. Oh, oh, Lord, what is she? One day she talked with a black scent. Next time, uh, next State and up closer to the north, she in a regular voice. I mean, who she wherever she go, that's what she changed to. So that's what comedians do. They whatever wherever you put them, that's what they'll be. Now we're not gonna do the story from CNN. We just putting a picture up here, but we're gonna do our own story. Yeah, we we just got a old 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 comedian's picture up there, and we go we go talk about. It. You know, I, I'm pretty sure you've been watching the news. You've been looking at YouTube, and you know all there is to know about this fake fraud liar. That's true, and and let's go back to when she said when she was in college, she listened to Tupac. Tupac. She, she was smoking weed and listening to Tupac in the college dorm. Now, how you listen to Tupac when he was eleven years old when you was in college? She was eleven. Then she changed and said she was listening to Snoop. Snoop wasn't even out then. No, but that's what she said. So we know she's a liar. And then one, so she saw she smoked in the hell. Well, you ain't done nothing. You a fake scam scum bucket. Well, if she was smoking weed, then why is she putting all them black people in jail for smoking uh, exactly. weed? Exactly. But it was all right for her to smoke it and do whatever and go buy it. But she putting everybody else in jail. Now it comes to my attention, that old scamula. Chameleon Air Harris. That's why I said Chameleon Air. Now, it comes to my attention, she went to school in Canada. Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, she, she was saying that she grew up in a middle class family. No, you man. lying scammer. Her mama, they lived in the richest part of town in Canada. And one of her, uh, I think one of her old neighborhood friends are. One of them, they confirmed that she lived in a nice house with hardwood floors and everything. And they in the most expensive side of town. And talking about her mama that worked hard, raised two black girls. You lying, and scam. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You lying. You're not black. Now, if you black, I'm white. Her mama, <laughs> well, she grew up in that class over there in India where they thought they were better than anybody because they were lighter skinned. And they were taught to hate black people. Then she turned around, my mama raised two proud black girls. No, she no, didn't. She hated black people. So she did not raise two proud black girls, you lying dog. And then she lied and said she went to a, a college in Berkeley, California, which is also a lie. Mm. She went to college in Canada, Canada. Well, then let's go back to where she said she would bust the school for for uh, to integrate. Schools in California were the first schools to inter, uh, integrate, and they did it back in 1947. And she said she was the first black girl. You was born in 1964. They did it. They integrated schools. Judge Joe Brown said his mother and father was teachers and school was already integrated. They said you no know, what they did, they they um they they mixed it up. But she wasn't the first to be segregated. That's true. What is I was that little girl on the bus <laughs> You little <laughs> lying dog. <laughs> lying Bimbo Belt Baby Ballers Pink Book Lessons with Color Bimbo Bop Battle. Oh, now let's talk about that truancy thing she had in place. Let's talk about it. She uh, uh, did this bill where if your kids miss too many days out of school, then they would arrest the parents. And this black woman got on there. 
her daughter has sickle cell anemia. And we know about sickle cell anemia yes, around we here we do. Yep. And the little girl was in the hospital all the time while she was hurting. And she had to miss school because she was in the hospital. And what did what did Count Kamala do? Yeah, that's right, Count Kamala. <laughs> Count Kamala, instead of uh, um, so dismissing the case, she had a woman arrested and put in jail. But she also had the media to be outside the woman's house to see her get arrested. And this is who y'all voting for. And they and she put the woman in jail, and because she put the woman in jail, you no, know, her her daughter. Had was, a stroke. Had a stroke because she was in the hospital ill and she found out her mama got arrested and she had a stroke. Nine years old, she had a stroke because this woman right here decided she wanted to put black people in jail. Truant, truant parents. She said, she said the reason she did it because they were losing too much money from the school system by people laying out of school. And then let's talk about her and Joe Biden. Guess what they did for Western North Carolina for the hurricane? You get $750 for relief. You can't even buy two weeks of groceries for that. And you know why? Because they took a billion dollars from FEMA and gave it to those illegal migrants. They took a billion dollars to get to the illegal migrants. Now FEMA don't have any money. And they up there getting two or two thousand a week and food stamps and paying for their hotel room. And so they one report said by the time you count up all things they done, they paying seventeen thousand dollars per year per person. One hundred seventeen thousand. For oh, a hundred seventy yeah. for per illegal migrants to live in in these um, sanctuary towns, and that's why we ain't got no money to help those people down there in those flood victims, and they not even allowing citizens to send money and food and help them because I don't know why. I don't know why. But, but they said they 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 threatened to arrest people if they try to. To help those people, little flood victims. Now, let's get back to this. We got seniors collecting Social Security, and guess how much they're getting on food stamps? $16 a, year. a month. $16 a month, and all these immigrants living the high life. Getting $2,000 a month. Illegal. Illegal. Spending your tax money on money you can't even get. It's our tax, but now the people can't get any help. For to help replace their houses and stuff because they don't have money to give them because the illegal migrants are sitting around living large off your tax dollars. Now you don't have nothing. And they got a squinty eye, Joe's eyes all so close together. To my what storm? Yeah, he didn't know what storm they was talking about. Why? Now, if you vote for this woman for president after this, you are a fool. You are a big dumb fool. If you want those people in those in those states that lost everything and lost family members, and yeah. you go and vote for this woman, yeah. you're a fool. You yeah. you you deserve everything you get. Then one guy, they deny his female claim. You know why? Cause he had homeowner's insurance, so he don't get nothing. So you know, homeowner's insurance not gonna pay out that fast. Sure won't. You, you need money right now. And the area need to be cleaned up before you rebuild your house again. Well, how, how are they going to clean it up? They don't have any help to clean it up. Yep. They're not allowing people to go in those areas to help the people clean up. So how are they going to clean it up? They want to, They could at least have a, a military helicopter to drop off food and stuff. They don't even do that. Well, they said they were uh, private citizens that had helicopters volunteering to help, and they told them no. And you know, they when FEMA showed up in Western North Carolina, guess how many agents got off the plane? Two. Four. 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 Oh, okay. and then, two more now. Yeah, and then they said, we were too busy at the border helping North Carolina. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and you gonna vote for this woman? And y'all the ones that Biden won't allow them to come into the country. This woman said that American citizens are more likely to commit crime than illegal migrants. 
Wow, really? That's what she said? After all those... Uh, rapes and murders. Rapes and murders, but American citizens are more yeah. likely. Americans, and now the villain swaling gangs running around with semi-automatic rifles taking over buildings, but Americans are more likely to commit crime than they are. You spend your hard-earned tax money going to help migrants, and you're not getting nothing. People losing their homes sit down on the street. And but and they got they get houses for migrants. And we can barely afford groceries at the store, but the migrants eating good. Large. And the yeah. nowadays they those those Haitians in the in Springfield, Ohio. Uh huh. They give them the food stamp card with three thousand dollars wow. on it. You know what they call? The, you know what the Haitians call that card? What's that? The magic card. <laughs> the magic because card. it never runs out. <laughs> wow. You can't make this up, people. This is your president and vice president y'all voted for. Y'all voted for that. And that's what you got. And if you if it's still time to get her out, if you put that if you put them back in again, now you know they liars because she knew Joe didn't have a lick of sense. And she lied to me. He's sharp. He's on it. He's, he, he, he. Joe Biden dead from the neck up. From the <laughs> neck up, he's dead. And everybody been lying to me how sharp he is. Uh, he's on top of everything. She's a liar. She's a liar. And then we've seen a picture of her. I don't know if it's her grandmother or great grandmother. But she looked pretty white to me. Last time I checked. She was, she's Irish. Yeah. Last time I checked. Black and white, like whitey white, whitey Indian, don't make black. Now, now they were over there in Jamaica. They were running a sugar cane fields. Yeah, a family running a plantation, sugar plantation, sugar, sugar cane plantation, and they own slaves. Now if she's a black girl, but they own slaves. And you know, okay. Then, then she tried to lie, and Candace Owens, Candace Owens pulled up a picture. When she's trying to say this lady was a grandmother, but that lady died before she was born. The lady died in 1960. The one she was standing beside died in 1960. And Kamala came. She was 20 years old in that picture. Yeah, she was 21. She was 20 or 21 yeah. in that picture. And that woman died in 1960, and Kamala wasn't born until 1964. And, and that woman wasn't even her grandmother. That was the hell. So, you know, how did that happen? <laughs> Kamala didn't even know that woman. So how, how she died before she was born. So how was she standing beside her? Photoshop. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Mm-hmm. And this is who y'all wanted to be your next president? Really? You want this Scamala in here? This dim wet. Count Kamala? She she don't have a plan. She cannot give you a plan. She don't have a plan. She's stealing some of Donald Trump stuff and twisting it around, make it sound like her plan. She don't have any kind of plan. She don't know how to do anything. Don't know how to do interviews. Don't she don't know how to, she don't know anything about government. Uh, she don't know nothing. And this is what you and she already said she she will not prosecute. Illegal immigrants. She already said that. Now we ain't saying, oh, Donnie, Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump is the best, but he no, won't he, allow this to go on. No, he ain't perfect by no means. But look, he he didn't do this. He sure did. I mean, and, and she talking about she wanted to get rid of ICE. Now what that mean? You gonna get rid of ICE and uh, immigration customs yeah, enforcement? Yeah, I know, but yeah, I was what, just for people who didn't know. Oh well, what you wanna do that for? So she can bring more illegal immigrants in. So so she can bring her whole family from India. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. She will bring half of India over yeah, here. Yeah, she bring half of India over here. So you would be foolish, people. You would be foolish. You would be foolish to vote for this woman. Everybody, like, I'm voting for Kamala because she's black. She's not, she's not black. black. Don't be no fool. She's not black. Uh, uh, black people believe anything. Oh. You could tell them that the sky is purple. Okay, then that, that is a well, nice uh, color purple. Well, I was watching some news clip earlier. A lot of black people said they not voting for nobody no more because they supposed to be black. They said they fell for that with Obama. 
I ain't gonna say Obama did good, I ain't gonna say he did bad, but people said they not vote for nobody based on skin color no more. But well, you can't do that. Why do I vote on skin color? You gonna mm. get a dummy in there just like they did in Dalton, Georgia? I mean Dalton, <laughs> Illinois. Mm. They right. got a, they got a dummy in there because they voted her because she was black. I think she's from the special ed classes. <laughs> and then now you talking about all these all the people that even I'm I'm like because she's a black woman. She went to Howard University because she went to Howard University it doesn't make her black. Cause everybody that's skin folk is not kin folk. Now Omri she went to Howard University because she got a a credit because you no know, they had a. When when you go to a um, if you're a minority in a school, Howard University is black college, and so she's a she was considered a minority there. So she got special grants and tuitions to go there. That's why she went there. She had a DEI education. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So you know, th this woman is full of garbage. She is full of garbage. If you vote for this woman. I can only imagine what the world gonna be like if for her being there for four years. This dummy gonna be in there for four years. Russia, China, Iraq, Iran, uh, all they, them. They all gonna take advantage all of All them gonna them. come over here and take over. Yeah. Now you got a woman that can't answer simple interview questions. She keeps on. Well, my mama say nobody go down about what your mama saved up for. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Her mama mm -hmm. was a scientist, and yeah. she worked for some large company in, yeah. in Canada. Her mama wasn't no middle-class poor woman. She, her mother's well to do. Didn't know her dad is a professor at Sanford University. They weren't poor. They sure wasn't. They weren't poor. They weren't middle-class. So the, you can believe these lies if you want to. You see, she went to Atlanta and had old, 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 old. A black scent. A stallion Stallion. Uh, 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 Megan the Stallion. <laughs> wow. Megan the Stallion. Not Mustallion. Megan I know what the, I know oh. what her name is. Okay. They had up there twerking and and had some, what was it, Quavo? Oh, I think Quavo so. Quavo the buzzard. <laughs> and, and had her up there trying to rap. Quavo and, the buzzard. And you, you think black people, that that's, that's what black people, that's what it comes down to, black people uh, twerking and rapping. Yeah. And the thing is, they said after Megan and Stallion left, a lot of people left because they were just there for the show. They came to see that old <laughs> old horse up there shaking her booty. So come on now. That's what she think black people are about. Yeah. Then, then she lied to her. I cooked so many collard greens that I had to wash them in the bathtub. That's a lie. I wish you would wash my greens in the bathtub <laughs> and you'd have your butt and your feet in that bathtub. You uh, had your whole crow's feet in the bathtub. And that old nasty booty <laughs> and you th think I'm going to eat it? <laughs> this one was a pure, straight up lie. You might as well put Trump back in there again. You go <laughs> vote for this. <laughs> she, he can't do no worse than she, I mean... This is a shame. This is what elections has come down to. Yes, it is. Got a dummy up here on the screen. Then you got a. I don't know what can you call old old, old Trump. He's a. No, we're just gonna focus on Scamalo right now. So ain't neither one of them the best candidates. I put it that way. And then she told my. I'm black because I had a fro. Really? Really, woman? I'm not completely black and I had a fro. <laughs> All you had to do is just put some curling rods in your hair and you have a fro. <laughs> right. So when I went to beauty school, hey, I I had a white instructor. I and she was, let me give you a poem. I was mm. shoot a free perm I take. I didn't, I, I was a student in cosmetology. I didn't know what it meant when she said perm. When she said perm, I thought she go straighten my hair. Right. And she put them rods in there. By the time the rod came out, I had no curls so tight to my head, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> now, she think because she had a curly fro, she, that make her she, black. She just had curly hair. I know, right? I seen a lot of white people with curly <laughs> hair. Yeah. That mean, you didn't have no fro, you just had them curls, <laughs> yeah. and your mama didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, sticking out like a cotton bush. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Your precious mama didn't know what to do with that old that curly hair. She just threw some grease in here. There you go. Probably didn't put no grease in there. She just pulled it out there. Let it form. Wow. This is a... Oh, I can't believe...
I can't believe that. And she slept her way to get to where she was at. Oh, yeah, that's that's old Willie Brown's wife. Like that. We we would call her uh, Homola Harris. I I guess guess old Willie is dead now. He was old when he was dating Mm. her. So she she screwed her way in. Well, I I believe we done said it. No. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Yeah, you come down there and hit that like button. Now stop playing with me. You know, this is hard out here. A sister got it hard out here. The yeah. least you can do is give me a thumbs a, up. A, a free like and a thumbs up. Yeah, if not like I'm asking you for my cash app, but my cash app is on there. <laughs> In the description. Yeah, if if, if you want to kill something. But uh, all I want is uh, give me a like. And give me some comments. What you and think? And subscribe. Like? Yeah, subscribe now. Come. On. Oh yeah, high s- subscribers. Hey. I and we like you. to welcome our new subscribers. We got on the last video. We got over twenty four subscribers. <laughs> yes, I see you. <laughs> yeah, even though the haters said, "Ain't nobody gonna watch this." Yeah, they were my over haters. Two, I had over two thousand seven hundred views on my haters. But she said, hey, "You ain't well keeping nobody's attention." But everybody subscribing. So, you know, the, give a sister a thumbs up. Stop playing now. See, I'm a real sister. There ain't no fake sister like I ain't, I ain't fake. I, I'm the real deal. Well, Holyfield. Well, I can't say no. I'm a watered down brother. <laughs> yeah, you a watered down brother. You, you, you should stay over there. I, I'm, I'm the real thing. You know, my hair rolls up in parks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, until next time, people. Well,